Welcome to Floater Fishing Part 1, helping you to catch more carp off the surface. First item of tackle that I'm going to be talking about is my tracker bucket bag. It's ideal, seat bag, numerous compartments, stores everything in. You want to go stalking. This is the one for you. Okay, main storage compartments, quite rumour. Two side pockets, great. Main compartments, as it is, it's a bucket bag. Ideal piece of tackle. So that's a tracker bucket bag. Um, ideal for stalking. Right, moving swiftly on. This is my Fox Bucket, I know it seems a bland item but at the end of the day it's something you need. It will carry more than enough floaters for any session that you're going to encounter. Uh, personally, I would only fill it half full. Ideal. Okay, so we all need a good mat, uh, we want to look after what we catch, mat choice generally down to yourself, personally I'm going to change this Nash mat that we have now for the JRC one, because it's slightly easier, light, lighter weight, better for stalking. As you can see, it's been well used. Again, I have a Nash landing net pole, quality, quality gear, extendable, and it just wraps up nice with your net. So you can fit that nicely into your unhooking mat. Okay, so now we get to talk about something a little bit more exciting. Uh, rods and reels. Nothing fancy, nothing fancy required. Um, I have two rods as you can see. Uh, both for different styles of fishing off the top. This is what I use for my controller floats. It's a um, 12 foot Graves Prodigy Barbel, 2 pound test curve and it does the job. Uh, recently had a trip in France where he had 67 fish off the top, all taken on this rod um, with 230 so it's 2 pound test curve, 12 foot, well up for the job, great control rod. Grace Prodigy grab Barbel Rod. Okay, this is my stalking rod, my free line rod. That's an eight foot Corum Opportunist, and that's also two pound test curve. Plenty of beef in the rod to do everything you need. That's uh, eight foot, two pound test curve, ideal. Both rods. Got Shimano bait runners on. This has got a slightly smaller bait runner that's an 8000, a little bit lighter, doesn't hold as much line. Well, I don't use line, I use bread. Um, and that's a 10,000, just a little bit bigger because I'm going to be fishing more distance with this. Again, both, both are loaded with bread. Um, I tend not to use line if I can help it. Um, but we'll talk about that further on in the video. Okay, thank you very much. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Part 2 is coming soon where I go in depth on tackle and rigs. See you soon. Tight lines.